One of America's most critical warriors is docked for repairs in Vallejo. The Coast Guard cutter Polar Star is the only one of its kind still afloat. KPI X5's John Ramos explains the importance and challenges of keeping the ship on the job. Lots of ships come to the dry dock on Vallejo's Mare Island for repairs, but one arrived last week that is truly unique. The Polar Star is the nation's only heavy icebreaker. The Coast Guard cutter Polar Star is a seven-story labyrinth of narrow hallways and staircases. It spends about seven months a year in Antarctica, opening channels in the ice for research ships and maintaining America's presence in the area. It can plow through solid ice six to ten feet thick, and if it hits something thicker... And then we'll back up about two ship lengths and then come ahead again at speed and hit the ice. That's right, it literally rams walls of ice until they break. The captain says all that vibration is like driving on a highway rumble strip 24 hours a day. That takes a toll on the shipboard equipment. We're so far away and it's remote. If we had a catastrophic failure, that would be our biggest risk or biggest unknown. It's a risk because if the Polar Star ever gets stuck, say one of its massive 16-foot diameter props breaks, there would be no one else to come to the rescue and the ship would be frozen in Antarctica until spring. It's Lieutenant Spencer Ross's job to make sure that doesn't happen. We get creative sometimes with uh, homemade repairs. Sometimes we don't have the spare part on board with us, so we'll have to make our own spare part. And that's not easy since the ship is more than 40 years old, and many of its electronics were built by Westinghouse, which doesn't even exist anymore. Recently, they bought these old fuses for their motor control circuits from some guy on eBay. You know, this one's probably manufactured in the 70s, but trying to find these items in sufficient quantity that we need is non-existent. That's the challenge of working on a one-of-a-kind ship and why the five months they'll spend at Mare Island is so essential. It's tough duty, but the crew is proud of its mission, carving a path for science and representing its country at the bottom of the world. In Vallejo, John Ramos, KPIX 5. Pretty fantastic. Well, Russia has six new heavy icebreakers. The U.S. hasn't built a new one in more than 40 years. In fact, one now being built won't be delivered for seven years.